And we're going over on Smashville, I believe I saw them pick, so should be a little bit of a good match. Uh, now, do I know anything about this matchup? No. Do I know about the characters? A little bit. So let's talk about them. DK Heavy does a lot of funny little things and also known for trying to get you off the stage with a grab into the stage and then you don't tech it and you die. But we all tech here, so should be a good little, a little uh, marathon going on. So okay, goodbye. <laughs> DK, DK have kind of often referred to as like kind of a better Little Mac in that he has those same Little Mac design issues where it's like this character's advantage state is godly good but good lord does, does he have a bad disadvantage state but right now Munel is showing up right now pushing that all of that advantage uh getting through all of the um all of the banjo kazooie projectiles and eggs and that is the fifth wonder wing off the table wow. for achilles that was a very bold wonder ring off the stage trying to you know take off with uh, Munel's first stock Great read on the match, though. Just barely not able to get it, though. You know, DK, heavy boy. Oh, this is so scary, these rolls. It is so... Oh, up throw. Yep. Now yep. I'll do it. I'll getting, <laughs> getting the cargo back throw. Achilles not mashing uh, quite enough there. But that's a fresh stock of Wonder Wings back on deck for Achilles. Let's see if he can take out Munel's uh, first stock before things get too rough. Not able to get anything off of that grenade egg, and Munel is making Bikilis pay for it with a quick 53% and climbing. Yeah, definitely Munel taking his matchup as much as like, you know as aggressive as he can, being the aggressor, def like, definitely being the aggressor and going in for what he wants. But you know that that will take his first stock, but that's not going to really stop him when uh, when Bikilis is 90% and DK is a machine, heavy machine, absolutely strong character. It's a little bit slow, but it makes up for it in his attacks and power. Oh, Bikili's trying to bring oh, out no. the eggs. Oh, Tether not going to do it quite yet. No, actually, I don't actually know what he was trying to do. It looked like he was maybe trying to tag Bikili's a little bit with the final hits of mm -hmm. the uppy, but... I have a feeling he was trying to time when uh, Bikili's was going to recover, and hopefully it would catch into um, his uppy, but he had possibly mistimed it, or Bikili's did take, do a little bit of a higher recovery anyway. So very, very wishful thinking for Munel, but hopefully that doesn't stop him from being able to take out this game for himself. All right, but Achilles is keeping this competitive. You know, that SD giving him kind of a new lease on life. Skill check! Uh, do you tech those? We do tech those a little bit. He didn't tech, but, you know, he's got he's got two jumps in the I, like I, like I like to think we all tech here. It's okay. <laughs> we all tech here. PMA. Ooh, all right, getting the Wonder Ring, getting Munel off stage. What's the edge guard? Not able to get these uh, grenade eggs into um, into F Smash that he's been wanting. He is finding the the starter Bakilis with the grenade egg. See that great setup by Bakilis right there. Every every time that we, he sees Muna off stage, he does charge a forward smash. But this oh, time he had grenade what? ready, wondering instead of taking off the Muna's the last duck. But what I was saying earlier <laughs> is that he has set up the ledge trap, so that grenade was going. <laughs> Do you see that eye roll from you now? <laughs> was going to take the, the grenade and take him off the ledge as we just saw right here. Getting the egg. No, no, I'm sorry. It was a grenade. Hold on. I honestly thought that was where Munel was going to win. Wh yeah, the Wonder Ring definitely going to take Munel. Oh, look at Munel. Look at Munel. <laughs> Munel. Pops up. He's yeah. like, bro. <laughs> Everyone throws their hands up. <laughs> Munel, thank you. So here we go, and then Wonder Ring, and he's running away, literally running away, and all the way to the other side of the he stage. He puts his elbow back. He was actually going to do a full. Oh, I think he missed the. He missed. He was trying it. No, I think he was trying to turn it, turn the DK punch around. Oh uh, no! Yeah, he didn't do the turnaround. Uh, please, I can't. I can't oh. look at DK's <laughs> like death face. It's so funny. His eyeballs. Trying to turn around, and then. Oh god! I mean. Had he done it a little bit earlier, would have had super armored like through Wonder Ring? I don't I actually wouldn't know. Alright, so Munel taking it right back to Smashville, which I completely agree with. That honestly seemed like Munel's game to win. But I mean, some very unfortunate circumstances uh, putting the game one into Achilles' hands. <laughs> Just slapping the eggs away. No wow. thank you, that sir. That was mad funny last talk. I, I did, man was running away and wondering caught up to him all the way to the edge of the stage. But over here, again, going on Smashville, I agree. Definitely a good choice for both for uh, for Munel. But right or now... Or is it? Because... Yeah, no, but Achilles, Achilles seems to have found his rhythm. <laughs> Great use of that grenade egg. Just not 
you know, trying to get Munel to pick an option right there. Nice parry. Look, that trip? Oh. That was a I've really cute little that. sequence. Wow. Okay. I didn't even know that would trip. Hello? Oh, oh so no we... tech. Oh, no, he's not going to... Yeah, not going to no, kill, he'll though. Make it. DK I... Uppy has a decent amount of vertical recovery. Uh, but, I mean, 158, a lot of Achilles' stray hits, like one of those, is absolutely going to take it. Yeah, I was getting worried. I was like, DK, Max Rage, a very strong character. But, you know, look, at Achilles got this Wondering going, got grenades, got eggs. And we, of course, just have those straight hits you were talking about earlier that will definitely take off Munel's, uh, the Munel stock at that percentage. Ooh, the the uh, disjoint uh, F smash there. Oi. Looking for a, a Tekken place there, I think. <laughs> Achilles just waiting there with the, the Kazooie gun, like, make a move. See what happens. Like, do it, do it. I dare you. Oh, just, there we <laughs> just go. Punishing Wonder Ring. Like, you know what? No, I'm sick of this, actually. I'm just gonna tear you into this existence. Like, goodbye. All right, great wait go. on the air dodge there by Munel. Keeping things competitive. Already uh, getting the percents almost back to even. To back and see if he can do anything to capitalize off of that down to into not shooting. Wonder Ring, good choice, but not affecting the grenade. Good, mat uh, good mix up on his recovery options for uh, Bakili's. Munel's been doing a great job this this entire set of catching Bakili's out of the startup of Wonder Wing. Uh, oh, ladder combos. Here comes the Kazuki gun into a little bit of a uh, juggle situation inside for a moment. But I thought he was going to capitalize on a little bit more, you know, chase him up there, take, take him out into the blast zone. Because Munel will just take you, uh, slap you out into the uh, other side of the blast zone and take your second side like that. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great uh, runoff there by Munel. Because, I mean, you know, Banjo Kazooie is one of those characters who can kind of take their time off stage. Uh, you know, especially stalling with grenade eggs if he really wants to. But just running off and catching Bakili's off guard before he was really into his rhythm. Back throw is going to do it. That looked like some not great DI. DK just died. But, that I mean, was, I'm pretty yeah. sure it was, he was dead anyway. Yeah, I agree. I, yeah. Ba Banjo kill throw? Yeah. I'll see it. All right. It was a little bit scary there with Munel off stage. Um, yeah, see, now it looks like Munel is in, in, in his own element, you know, using platform as, many, as much as he can, using that throw into uh, up throw into, you know, uh, up air. It would be really useful for himself right now. Oh, we're Ooh, missing the Wondering. Gonna come bold. back. going to come back with another Wondering in a second. Yep. And that's two stocks of Wonder Wing gone on this last stock. If he's not able to find this kill on Munel, things could be bad. Both players kind of cautiously treading around one another at the moment, using grenade as, as he should. Yeah, Munel actually caught wow. the grenade in his hand, and that was bad. Uh, now he's right. on his last Wonder Ring for this stock, and can't get those back. You just got to gotta hold that. <laughs> All, All right. right. There we go. Fighting his way back on. Oh, oh the super there it is. armor. That's what I was waiting for last game as well, but now he's facing the right way this time. Yeah, cheese for cheese, you know? And look, because he's just laughing it off. Yeah. All right, so that was a crazy even game, despite uh, Bakili's, despite Bakili's uh, like really early lead. <laughs> Dang. How, how do you feel about that? Uh, like I need to take a shower. Like I, <laughs> like I need to take a. Sh <laughs> Unfortunately, we are at Smash Local. There's no showers in question, so now we've got we've got we just gotta, none in like the ten mile radius. We've got to hold that. <laughs> So let's see what. Yeah, that was a really good catching that wondering right in the beginning of the uh, of the move is really smart on on Munal's part. Yeah, I mean at least good enough for Banjo Kazooie that they don't lose the the Wonder Wing stock for Ooh, it. Bam. <laughs> I would Bop. be so I would be mad on behalf of Banjo Kazooie players if that happened if they like lost the stock or the Wonder Wing stock for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of times that Bakili's just kind of missed a lot, out on a lot of Wondering, Wondering opportunities by just mistiming or misplacing them. So hopefully in this last game for uh, for our players, he'll kind of cap, he'll, he'll be able to, ooh. All right, looks like uh, he'll be able to use Wondering in a more. Uh, that's a good one. Vegas stage. In a better way. <laughs> what? What are we doing? What is Bakili's doing? He's hovering over Peach's castle. Ooh, you want to? You want to? You want to? starting up Vegas. Vegas stage song, and now he's put, looking through Tekken series. Kazuya Mishima. Oh, okay. The, okay. That's the only song I know, like, from Tekken. This one's good, too. I yeah, this is a, a clean one. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but I like this one a lot.
Don't be shy. Pick the other Donkey Kong skin. Pick the green one. <laughs> Donkey Kong's got some some wax skins, some honestly. Skin. My favorite one is the uh, black and tan one. Yeah, that one's nice. It just looks natural. I like it a lot. The the white on like the white on his like like, like the pale like flesh. I don't like oh. <laughs> the flesh. It doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't want the flesh. Or it's gray, I guess. All right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Going back into to this battlefield. Game. <laughs> All right, great sequence starting off from Munel, looking for an early shield break with a really nice setup into the uh, the down B, and Achilles just hasn't been able to get anything started thus far on his counter pick of Battlefield, um, which I I do agree with. You know, I think Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> oh, you're gone. Oh no, no. Yeah, no, he's, I know he's he has back. a really good recovery on uh, the recovery options, but you are wasting Wonder Wing as you're trying to recover, which is really unfortunate and a good play on Munel's part in order to like l l set shorten or not shorten, lessen the amount of Wonder Ring opportunities that Bakilis has. No, that's Ooh. right, two more gone. I will say, I know we've talked this set before about Munel hitting Bakilis out of the startup. But there was something that was so funny about him just grabbing him out of it. He like, no. Oop, oh. Up tilt, yep. Really nice. Only at 148 for D. Yeah. Munel had actually popped out of the uh, the down throw there. His match was really good, but just not quite good enough to escape that up tilt. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, once again. Oh. Once again, um, despite Munel's early lead, really dominant lead. Uh, Achilles taking that first stock and getting it where it counts, getting some nice extra credit. 63 already. And only, go and only backing it up as much as he can, using the grenade as much as he can. Oh, but you know, that, that's calm. Goodbye. I think uh, I think that might have been a shield poke, actually. Just barely caught the top of Banjo's head. Oh, looking for a ladder, ladder combo with the uh, the Kazooie gun. But again, like you said, Bakilis has a really good lead at the moment with uh, Munel at 132. Not quite dying to that wondering at the at yet, but very, very precarious situation for Munel anyway. Oh no. Oh no, we're, we're, at, uh -oh. we're at 49%. We're, we're, we're safe a little bit from DK uh, throwing antics. Yeah, that was a very scary setup by Munel right there. Yeah, I was just here seeing a DK throw, and then he's going to chase you with some with down tilt into like fair and, and back air or something like that. So. You know, always be a very precarious situation. Oh no, this might this might be something gone. Really? Yep. Carried him up to that platform in order to up air him into the non-existent. He got grabbed at like 65. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't get grabbed by heavies. They're scary. They don't care. They play with no morals, no respect. <laughs> no morals. Absolutely no morals. They grab you, you already know the respect left their body in, in that instant. But right now, you know, Bakilis now has like really Oh my god, 168. He has to close, this, close out this stock in order to have a chance at being able to uh, take out, take this set for himself. Just kind of using the eggs as much as he can. Go up tilt. Oh no! Oh no, uh, yeah. missed the up tilt. I missed it, yeah. But Achilles was able to seal out that kill. Mm -hmm. so thank goodness for him because dealing with a full rage DK, especially on Battlefield where he's going to get those platform extensions, he's going to be able to carry you super high with the cargo throw. <coughs> And you'll just die at 65 again. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be so careful. But right now, I'm 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 loving the play that Bakilis is using. You know, it just just, just making sure that Muno is not able to do any. Uh, Muno is not able to do any of his usual combos that will literally devastate Bakilis at 85 percent in two hits. Yeah, honestly, Bakilis has to oh, play no. so safe right now. If Muno Muno can. Um, Get a like a full combo oh, yeah. or just a back air off stage. That'll be it. <laughs> so yeah, super really intense. intense set. Really intense. I, I like I said, you can't let yourself get you know taken by uh, DK combos, especially with those up airs or anything in the air. Really, where, oh, he's not even up air. He was just up tilting him whenever he was coming back from the stage, and then back air right and right before the one who was able to come out. Yep. Great at catching that those start those startup frames. <laughs> Yeah. Goodbye, bing bong. Wonder Ring just sometimes, especially with the way that Munel was punishing the um, punishing the startup. Uh, Wonder Ring does not feel like a five ninety nine move. No, it does. Like there, like there's definitely five ninety nine characters, and 
Wonder Wing just doesn't feel like a, I paid for this kind of move, you know? No. They ha It has a really long startup. You can catch it, as we've seen many times. You can grab someone out of it. Like, <laughs> Grabbed out of gra it? Like, uh, no. Like, you. <laughs> And it's like, oh, that's cute. Like, it's definitely just one of the moves that feels like like it, it came with the game. Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> um, but like I, like I was saying earlier, Bakuji just kind of just kept missing a lot of opportunities to use Wondering to his advantage. Or he will waste it trying to recover. Or I we actually saw earlier, he used it twice in succession in order to like catch um, catch Muno. But it didn't work. It just, it just sent him off stage and he died for it. So again, Bakili just has to really work on those uh, wondering placements and timings, really. Yeah, and I mean, it. even when he was, you know, quote unquote, getting them, mm -hmm. DK Super Armor was coming through. Exactly. And End that was... of game two. That was evil. That was. That, that was hurt. Evil. Like I said, no morals, no morals, no. no the respect leaving Munel's body when he picks DK. Like <laughs> this goes away. <laughs>